there's really no important update today at all, right? But one thing I want everybody to know is that tomorrow is when the company's CEO, Eric Holman, is going to be talking. We're going to be streaming this. This is going to be happening 30 minutes after the market close. So I recommend everybody go watch the stream tomorrow. I think he's going to, I think he's going to probably... I think there's a good chance that he's going to say something new. I think there's a realistic chance. And when I say new, I mean, I just mean something that's going to affect the stock price in a positive way, essentially. And even if he's not, guess what? It's great marketing opportunity, and it's still going to essentially still all, it's probably a very high chance of only good things coming from this. But to what degree, that's yet to be determined. But there's essentially not any crazy news today. The short end is flat. Quarter earnings is getting closer by one day. They posted this tweet thing, the COVID thing. Okay, this is like from months ago. Uh, we had a bullish little unusual options thingy happening here. We had a filing of a grand total of five shares today, baby. Yes, another institution added five shares. Let's go. And if you actually look at the freaking premium data here, they already had five shares earlier. Fentel doing their best, you know, doing filings months after and it's the exact same thing it's like fintel what are you doing <laughs> but uh and then we also had a couple of different studies here that i have not really looked into too much but two different two studies that are relatively new right they were published pretty recently so i just want to talk about what the broad extrapolation is based on so many consumable not consumables but well yes but more so studies uh and papers that have been done using the sapphire and proving its worth what that means for the revenue in quarter two along with going over some uh some updated thoughts on quarter two earnings so let's start with this uh well there's not much to say here but let's start with this again 30 minutes after the market closed eric holtman our ceo that's all i have to say there right so short interest is the same it's still extremely high we're 22 uh, percent of the flow has been sold short 63 million shares extremely high number that's as simple as it gets also we have the quarter two earnings we're getting closer right mid august okay we're like one you know 30 days away right we used to be 45 days away we were talking about it in anticipate anticipation for it now we're only like 30 days away that's getting close and i think this compared with this bull case happens right here you know get uh even even the bull case not even the squeeze time option here even 4.4 million and it could be squeeze time right at least a lot of it at least at least at least a lot of these shorts are going to cover and when i say a lot i don't know 20 percent 30%, maybe even 50% or more of them. Because I guarantee, I've already told you why. Because many of these guys are shorting it specifically because they think revenue is going to suck. They think it's overpriced. They think the revenue sucks. They don't know about the 200% year-over-year -year increase, even if we were to match the estimate, which is my bear case of three and a half million for quarter two. That's going to represent 200% year-over-year growth on revenue for according to chart mill, which is a good source. So you love to see, you don't love, to, I mean, there's different, there's different takes to this, but one side of the coin is you love to see a high short interest with a catalyst as potentially parabolic as or earnings in a scenario where we have 13 sapphire options already known to the public right essentially these are almost all let's just say let's just say three of these are, are somehow fake let's say there's only 10 of them right guess what they still are always sales in every single quarter that we don't know about so it's still likely that we're going to get 15 18 23 even maybe higher than that sapphire sales not rental agreements right i'm assuming five of each of those are going to be rental agreements to be conservative anyways so that's a little bit of a that's a little bit of the earnings expectation in my in my revised earnings expectation essentially there's no expert there's no revised earnings okay i'm bullish i think it's going to be good i think it's going to be i think it's going to be even better given the price right although we got a nice bounce off this sustenance level here we're still getting killed for, I mean, yes, high growth has gone down a lot, but we've been underperforming high growth, which is very frustrating for somebody who knows that we have two catalysts coming up, right? Potential catalysts, right? Earnings and Eric Coleman. And on the way, obviously on the way down, we've had so many, I mean, more Savard options that I can count, right? Literally. <laughs> uh, but it is what it is. It is what it is. At the end of the day, what's going to determine the stock price are these two things, this and this simple as you can get next up this tweet right here i love to see that they're continuing to market but i also think this is the boring bo most boring day that we've got for bionio news wise in a while which is why i said feel free to get it feel free to not watch this essentially because it's not a, a ton of important news also th so this is not news at all right if you click on it it's from march okay it's from march right it's like dude don't even try to fool me this is just shit right <laughs> but it's good to see that they're marketing stuff it's not necessarily bs just because it's old it's just you know we want to see new news right uh this as the shareholders but okay so if we look at this article right here 10 healthcare stocks yada yada bngo uh puts uh it's a bullish sentiment okay they're saying it's bullish right i don't trust these things but it's news it's the only thing that we've gotten in the news uh section on weibo for a while so i thought i would cover it the filing today 13 filing with five shares the grady investments llc made <laughs> look at the portfolio allocation just five just straight zeros all across the board i mean it's everything is zero except the shares and that may as well be zero right five 
I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> whatever. You, that's self-explanatory. But yeah, you had a, a nice, nice, lighthearted uh, adding here to spice up our day. I guess if you can consider that spicing it up. And also, I just wanted to say, based on all the studies that we've seen in the last few weeks and even months throughout an entire entirety of quarter two and right now the start of quarter three, I just wanted to say that I love to see that so many studies are out here proving that the sapphire does what it says it does. And I want to ask everybody something: Have you ever seen a study or a paper or something? That uses the sapphire and says no the sapphire actually doesn't do that well it's not concordant it missed uh, it missed a ton of things it's not worth it and i don't think it has a chance of revolutionizing the greater than 500 base pair detection realm no every single literally every single study that i've seen i haven't i've never seen a negative article like that or study or or i mean i guess article i have but not with the science not with any evidence to back it up i've never seen a paper like this never seen anything like this uh, a full action, a full paper here and study. Never seen one of these come to the conclusion that Sapphire sucks. And I just wanted to make the point that it's a fact at this point that the Sapphire does what the company claims it does because it's been verified and validated by so many different studies and institutions and universities and uh, clinics and hospitals, right? That's as simple as it gets. So talking about the price action today, right? So we were down uh, three and a half percent. Yeah. Three and a half percent a day along with pretty much all of high growth. And if you look across the board and my high growth uh, watch list here, Almost everything is red, so it's definitely not peculiar that we were down today, right? If anyone's freaking out, Brandon, what the hell? You said we're gonna, you said we have five catalysts. Why are we down today? Well, it's true that we have five catalysts. It's true that I think nine, twelve, and eight dollars and seven dollars. All of those things are very likely if earnings is what I think it is, which there's not a guarantee that earnings is going to be great, but I think I'm very, I'm pretty confident that it's going to be. I could be totally wrong, but still, high growth is down on the day. Bio Nano is, I mean. It's underperforming nano dimension, but it really, I mean, it's not getting, you know, look at AMC, look at BlackBerry, look at Virgin Galactic. Okay, that was, that's a peculiar one. Look at MMAT. A lot of these other stuff, 4%, 5%. A lot of these other stocks are getting hit. CTAs are down 5%. It's red across the board, right? So it's definitely not peculiar to buy on. You know, I also want to make the point that just because we're down 3.5% today means nothing for the company value. Remember, but the stock price is not the company value. Remember that. Just because we're down 3.5% today does not mean the company just eradicated 3.5% of sales for the quarter or for the year or anything or a value. No, absolutely not. It's precise. I would say, I would argue it's precisely the opposite. At least it's been the opposite since 9.12, right? We've lost about 20, 30% of the value in the share price, yet the company's value, intrinsic value, has only gone up, right? Remember that J uh, Jeff Bezos quote? about Amazon's price falling from $106. to $6. As that happened, all the key business metrics, internal key business metrics, they all improved. The stock price went down. This is how you know that you're in an auspicious opportunity for buying. And I can tell you just based on the top of my head, the CCO, the CBO, okay, the CCO is right here, but the CBO, uh, the Wickham Sapphire adoption, the WeHealth adoption, plenty of other things that I cannot think of right now. A lot of what's going to happen in the next few weeks to, to contingent contingent on the quarter two earnings and what ceo says along with what high growth does right and if the markets crash or not right so you got to be careful of all these things you have to understand all these things if you look at the bollinger bands remember my, my example i said every single time in the past that you go down to that bottom bollinger band you always correct up to the 21 sma we have not done that yet and we're just getting lower too right we it's at 720 we have not even hit seven dollars right we've got we'll see if the trend breaks but four out of four times that's what always happens essentially so i would i would be i will be i am expecting a to hit seven uh sometime sometime soon in my opinion right do your own research but i think i think we will also if you look at this stochastic indicator in the daily you're getting bullish divergence right this is when the price goes one way but the indicator goes the other way in this example this is a bullish divergence because the price is going down the stochastic indicator is going up that's a buy sign now the stochastic indicator has been wrong plenty of times right especially in the recent past but before that it was very accurate I mean, it was extremely accurate. So I do think there's going to be a return to this indicator predicting the tops and bottoms pretty well. And that's the one that I'm eyeing very closely. I think this is going to be, and, and we're still in, we're still in buy territory right here. Okay. Simple as it gets, we're still in buy territory and we have yet to run up a lot. Also, if you look at the chart pattern here, this is your entry point, this bottom ascending level. Last two times, if you would have bought on this, okay, 430 and 580, simple as it gets, right? Quick quick runs to the upside right after that in both scenarios also right here right as if you could predict that right that would be impossible but that was was a thousand percent run up right so i'm not i'm not making the argument that we're about to get thousand run up because of a, a line that was not drawn up that no one knew about when it was going but hey at the end of the day the, your your entry point your demand zone is going to be on this line and your resistance is going to be on this line for the time being until we get a breakout i think the ceo talking tomorrow could be exactly what we need to get a huge breakout here or it could be the breakout day you know uh 
July 20s, 20s, mid 20s, early 20s, that's when we're going to get the breakout to the upside or downside. We're going to have to see how it plays out. Anyways, that being said, this, this, there's no there's no news today. That's why this is such a short one. And that's why I'm not very enthusiastic. I mean, there's nothing, there's not much news today. So with that being said, there's the portfolio, 100% of the issue. Thank every one of you saying so much. Thank you all so much. This is not financial advice as always. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.